Hey, it's Don Siren, co-founder of Buddy Boss, and today I am super excited to share with you what we've been up to in the month of October. In this video, I will tell you about product updates, including updates for the Buddy Boss web and the Buddy Boss app, updates for both customer success and customer support teams, including some new improvements to the service that will soon be rolling out, updates on what's happening in the Buddy Boss agency, and we'll end this video with a customer spotlight. And before I start with the updates, I want to apologize for not being able to make these monthly update videos over the last few months. This has happened before for the same exact reasons. I've been dealing with some health issues that were lingering from the previous years, and thanks to some amazing doctors I've seen, I'm feeling much better now. I appreciate everyone's understanding during this period, and I want to thank Jason for helping create these videos during this time, where it was very difficult for me to get on camera. I know it's not always an easy task to do, so thank you, Jason. If you're a new customer, you may be seeing me here for the first time, so welcome on board. And now, let's start with the updates. We just released a massive overhaul of the private messaging component, which was an important step to make before the public release of the live messaging feature. Users now have the ability to archive and unarchive private and group messages. This replaces the previous hidden conversations options, which often left users confused on where to find them and caused ghost notifications due to a message being hidden without being read. We also use this opportunity within the BuddyBoss app to build our first gesture swipe functionality, which we intend to implement across other components in the coming months. We're now splitting the conversations in your message by day, allowing you to have a clear view of what was discussed and when. We made significant improvements to the input area and to the media uploading experience, adding progress bars and making it more intuitive for your members. We made improvements to how we handle deleted and blocked users. You can now see online, restricted, blocked and deleted users in your private messages with a clear indication. We've also made improvements to group messages. Status updates have been improved for when a user leaves or joins a group, and it no longer triggers notifications to other group members. There are also design and functionality improvements to the group messaging experience, including the group membership logic, so that any new group members are automatically added to an existing group conversation, and any members who leave a group are automatically removed. We've also made big improvements to email notifications that you receive, when a community member sends you a private message. Instead of receiving an email for each message, we will now delay sending the email and group all the unread messages into a single email digest, which can be configured to be sent after a set time ranging from five minutes or up to 24 hours following the last unread message. The search functionality has also been improved significantly with a faster and more intelligent search logic. We've also added placeholders while your messages are loading. And all of these improvements also extend to the BuddyBoss app. On the BuddyBoss app, we also improved the flow for creating a new message. The app will now automatically suggest members to message based on your previous conversation history. That's an amazing overhaul of this key component of the BuddyBoss platform, which now takes it to the next level. And you can learn more about all of these improvements by watching Michael's detailed video, to which you'll find a link in the description below. And we're finally expecting the pusher integrated live messaging feature to be moved from beta and released during this month of November in both web and app. I know it's been a long wait, but outside of the numerous roadblocks the team has met, which I've previously mentioned, the team also really wanted to completely overhaul the messaging component before adding the live aspect to it. We've also now released the new notification preferences, which was previously accessible through BuddyBoss Labs and made it the default notification component. This is another inherited component that we recently revamped with our own improved API. With this new update, your members can manage their notification preferences for all devices on one page. You can enable the specific notification types you wish to use in your community. For each notification type, you can select the default preferences for your members. The contents of each notification type has been improved including showing excerpts of messages, posts, and other content types. We introduced a simple method for creating custom notification types, and we've improved how notifications work with private messaging by allowing you to hide message notifications from a member's list of notifications while still sending them an email on screen and push notifications, preventing members from receiving on-screen notifications for new messages while they're currently on the messaging screen. So if you're looking at your inbox and someone sends you a message, it doesn't trigger on-screen notifications since you're already there. 
With all of these improvements, we're continuing to not only add new exciting features to Buddy Boss products, but we're also continuing to modernize the features inherited from BuddyPress. Our customer success team continues to assist Buddy Boss app customers with onboarding and success calls as needed. Tom Jutla from Customer Success also continues to hold office hours on a daily basis. And you can find a link for how to attend the office hours in the description below. The customer support team has resolved over 3,000 tickets and are doing a great job keeping up with all of the new tickets coming in. The team is also preparing to roll out live chat support early next year. We will initially launch a live chat for our tier one level support. Then we will look into the possibility of rolling out live chat for our tier two support level. Although the second step is still under consideration and we haven't yet finalized all the details. And Edeline, one of our top performers in the customer support team, was also one of the most positive people I've met in the Philippines, has now taken the role of customer support manager. Edeline has over 12 years of experience in customer service and has been working with us since the launch of our Philippines operations in early 2019. And I know that while many of you are super happy with Buddy Boss customer support, some of you are not so happy and I totally understand why it can sometimes be a frustrating experience. I very much appreciate all your feedback, good and bad, and I want you to know that we are listening very carefully and working very hard to make the adjustments necessary for a better customer experience. Now, although it feels like customer support can be slow at solving some of the tickets, I can't really blame the support team for that. This is really a product team issue. The support team has actually been doing an amazing job and has drastically improved under Graham's leadership. And all the efforts made in creating better processes, improving documentation, reorganizing the team, migrating to Freshdesk, and further training the team are now paying off. And now that the support team is functioning very well, I'm working with Graham to make key improvements to product delivery. Over the last year, we've completely transformed the product team and how it operates, and we've made significant improvements. And while most of the changes we've done have helped the team increase productivity and improve quality across the board, we realize that it often doesn't seem like that to you, our users. And the reason is that we overlooked a couple areas, namely our approach to releasing new features and our process for knocking out small bugs and improvements. The approach the product team has taken over the last year was to combine a bunch of smaller improvements into a larger scale project that typically ended up growing bigger and bigger and ended up causing multiple delays and frustration. This is exactly what happened with live messaging and with web push notifications. So we're now going to combine the process improvements that our product team has made over the recent months with some of the strategy that used to work well for us before and start releasing features more often, even if it means there's sometimes smaller, more incremental improvements. I know I'd rather get small wins on a constant basis than wait months for a big component to get released with nothing new in between. Because all these features, even small, can often make a big difference for the user experience. The other key issue that we're working on fixing is our ability to release fixes for non-critical bugs much faster than we currently do. As I worked with Graham to analyze this area of the product delivery process, we found that although we were good at fixing issues fast, the fixes would get stuck in code review, waiting for a lead developer to review and approve the fix. And the lead developers were focusing too much on the new features and would not give enough time to approving fixes. We're now solving that by increasing the number of lead developers so we can release fixes faster. So what does this all mean for you? If you've been waiting for an enhancement or a product fix that has not been prioritized before, you'll be happy to know that we aim to clear at least 70% of all the issues in the backlog by December 31st. And by Q1 of next year, we expect to become much faster at resolving issues from the day they're reported to the day they're released. We know that this particular issue is what's causing the most amount of frustration with customer support and we can't wait to get it fully resolved. We're putting an end to our large-scale feature-only approach and instead, starting early next year, we'll be releasing new features and improvements much more frequently. In the next month, we'll be releasing the group notifications feature. This will help improve engagement in groups. Group members will now receive notifications when new posts get added. And by January, we aim to release reactions which will initially be available in activity feed posts and replies. And then soon after that, added into forums and private messaging. Now it's important to remember that our products are some of the most complex and feature packed in the WordPress ecosystem. And the fact that our platform is open source 
and that we integrate with so many other third-party software, providing more flexibility than any other comparable software, keeping up with all the feature requests, improvements, bug fixes, managing priorities, and ensuring the team is always working efficiently is not an easy task. But we strongly believe that the improvements we've made earlier this year and the improvements we're making now will help the product team excel at handling all of these responsibilities. We may not be perfect and we may not always live up to everyone's expectations, but one thing for sure is that at Buddy Boss, we will always have your best interests at heart and we will continue to strive to create innovative products and make ongoing improvements to Buddy Boss products so we can give you the tools you need to help you in your journey to success. And there are other exciting projects currently in the works that have not been announced, but will be announced in the upcoming update videos. So that's it for product updates and customer support updates. I am super excited for the major improvements we're making in both of these areas. And now let's talk about the Buddy Boss Agency. The agency recently helped the very popular Happy Pair launch their brand new Buddy Boss powered mobile app. This is a self-care platform that helps you towards a healthier mind and body through food, movement, and community. The Happy Pair, with a community of over 1 million people, has been around for 15 years now, with 60 products, 7 online courses, 5 cookbooks, a farm, and a roastery, all designed to help you live healthier. At Buddy Boss, we understand that every new project is unique. Every customer has their own idea, a project with specific requirements that address the specific needs of their audience, and thanks to our highly customizable and extendable software, all of these ideas can be made possible. And our agency is here to help support you in that journey. So if you need help with your project, you can go to buddyboss.com agency and reach out to our agency team. Our account executives will then schedule a discovery and consultation session with you to help understand your project and work on providing you with the best solution. We've also been hiring new members into the marketing team and we're now working on putting more effort into creating educational content for our audience across all channels. We started experimenting with more educational content in Jason's podcast and we're planning to soon take it to the next level. We'll be launching the new redesigned blog by early next month and we expect to start delivering a lot more educational content by the end of Q1. Meanwhile, Jason is continuing to publish new podcasts almost every week with four new podcasts released over the last five weeks, including the latest episode where Jason interviews executive fitness coach Candice McField from As For Me and My Body to discuss how she went from burnout to book publishing, fusing fitness and faith in her online community. As For Me and My Body is a community that helps believers bridge their spiritual and physical health 365 days a year and provides a safe haven to celebrate everyone's wellness journeys. Candice was a female bodybuilder and figure competitor, training executives with in-home workouts and boot camps. She published her book, As For Me and My Body, with a companion community built on Buddy Boss to help her reach more people who might not be able to afford her higher priced fitness programs. To learn more about Candice and her journey, check out her guest appearance on this month's Buddy Boss podcast linked in the description below. So that's it for today's update. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon so you can be notified when we post new videos. And I'll see you in December for the next Buddy Boss updates.